Hello Digital Alchemist, in this video I'm going to show you 5 stunning websites for your web design inspiration. Now, As you may know mobile traffic is bigger than desktop traffic and yet most people just focus on the desktop. So in this video we're going to focus on mobile design first and of course I show you a glimpse of the desktop version. Okay, so let's get started and this is our first website and these do not come in any particular order so I'm just going to label them A, B, C, D, E and then it's up to you to let me know in the comments which is your top tier. So maybe it's A, B, C, D, E, maybe it's B, C, D, A, well you get the idea. So this is the first one we're gonna review today and before you say anything, no I'm not in, interested in that and anyway it's the legal one. So, but I'm sure you're not going to believe me, especially if you follow the rest of this video. But basically what I like about this website is, first of all, it looks gorgeous on the mobile. It doesn't feel like a cheap version of the desktop version. Now, let me show you, I start scrolling. You got the subtle animations and everything just looks beautiful. Now, of course, the graphics of the website look beautiful, whether you're on a mobile or on a desktop, but it's really well done. I like the font, I like the font size, everything is just smooth and looking good on the eye. I like the little details like the logo, the icons, this is the card icon. So it's just looking gorgeous. Even the empty card is looking gorgeous. Your shopping bag is empty with the logo. So it looks really nice and from what I see here it seems that it's a website from Switzerland. So let me close this. Let's take a look at the navigation. Once again, navigation is just plain gorgeous. Let's click on one other link. And I like this animation here when you click on another page. So it's a page transition. I think it looks really good. As you can see, it's got a kind of a floating design here. And it just makes you want to click everything, even if you're not interested in what they're selling. Uh, I really think it's a beautiful design and it's a beautiful mobile design. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the desktop version. As you can see, it's just as beautiful as on the mobile version. And as you can see, it's the same principle. It just looks really good. Of course, on the desktop, you got more canvas, more room to play. Even if you're not interested in what they're selling, I think you should go and check this website. It's going to give you some inspiration. Now, I know there's a lot of 3D, but still. Looking at the colors, the page transition, I think this one is a beautiful website. Okay, the next website is Wealth Simple, and it says Get Rich Slow, which is kind of good because usually you hear the opposite, Get Rich Quick, and we all know this is a scam. So, by the way, I'm not endorsing this website because I don't know if this is a scam or not. I'm just going to look at the web design. So. Let's start from the very top. Let's open the navigation. And I love this navigation. Really simple, but really gorgeous on a small screen. And they added some images, but it still feels really light. So let me close this. And as you can see here, we got this 3D animation. Like this is, this is one of the trends for this year and even last year. So we got this nice animation here. And when we scroll, we get another animation that's morphing into the screen that you see here so right away you know where you're at you know it's about wealth you know it's about finances and they did a really good job about that now the website is very simple but simple in a good way very minimal there is simply no clutter you can read the big titles and it's pretty easy to navigate and to know what everything is about Okay, now let's take a look at the desktop version. I told you I will show you a glimpse. So once again, we got this nice 3D animation. We get the morphing into the next screen and some parallax that's more obvious than on the mobile version. So we still have the nice color scheme. Of course, that's not going to change a lot of white space. And all in all, it looks gorgeous also as a desktop version. So definitely some inspiration for one of my future projects and I hope it's going to inspire you too. Okay, so this is our third website and I knew you were going to think that I was lying when I was talking about the first website, but this is totally random. This is totally by chance. So I reviewed dozens and dozens of websites and these were the five best ones. But once again, this is totally legal. This is medical. So Grow, this is the logo as you can see here very nice logo and i like the minimal navigation here so click on the navigation you get this gorgeous full screen nav and everything is clear you can navigate to the four pages and you also got the contacts info here 
so we also have the private area i guess and then you can start scrolling down and we get this change of images the typography is nice very very nice and i like the way images change when you just scroll down there doesn't seem to be that much content on the website but if the purpose was to give a first good impression mission accomplished because it looks really really slick so let's click on the navicon and let's check another page so i'm going to select the about us page and as you can see it's got some asymmetrical design and if you know anything about me and my channel i don't like asymmetrical design too much unless it's well executed and i like the way they executed it here now the font is still gorgeous because usually what i don't like is when you have this asymmetrical design with big giant ugly fonts because some of them are really ugly I think this one looks really slick so i really like it overall it's a really nice website that you could use for corporate inspiration okay next let's take a look at the desktop version and as you can see in the top left corner when i move the mouse you can see a custom mouse pointer it's a circle and if you want to know how to achieve that i've created a tutorial that teaches you how to do that with elementor pro if you're using wordpress of course so now the way to navigate here is the horizontal line here so i'm just going to click on the second element and as you can see we got our nice transition nice animation the font is still gorgeous let's take a look at the third one the fourth one and so on so this is our about us page and this is what the asymmetrical design looks like in the desktop version now i still don't like asymmetrical design but it looks fine it looks all right and what i really love here is that beautiful beautiful font as you can see and the way they lined up everything it just makes you want to read actually usually those type of websites are boring but this one makes you want to read not too much text the font is big enough and very very well executed okay next i can't pronounce the original name of these websites but basically it's save the rainforest now i know what you may think you may think well this is not a website this is just 3d and this is not a real website yada 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 well, I usually I kind of agree when it's too much eye candy and doesn't really serve the purpose, but here it does have the purpose. And do not forget, web design and web development is all about communicating effectively through the web medium. And that's what they're doing, as you're going to find out in a moment. Now, right off the bat, there's a visual bug here on the top left because the Facebook share button seems to be cut, but that should be easily fixable. And next you have a become a protector button now as you can see here these are the protectors so if i click it says protected by Johannes or joans protected by christians so basically if you become a protector and you donate then you put your name there in the rainforest or at least on the virtual rainforest here on the website so now you can really tap and slide so let me show you and if i tap here visit the natives but what i can do is just slide and drag around and then i can just click on various bubbles so it's really nice if you want to see what the village looks like and what the life of those people looks like and that's what i said that it serves the purpose of trying to communicate effectively through the web medium now if i click on put on your face then as you can see there's a video that starts and i can just go around and visit various places so very very well executed almost no loading time so i'm really impressed okay next is the desktop version and just like the mobile version it looks gorgeous now you may understand why i said that it's hard to pronounce the name because it's reagan cock funded and i'm pretty sure i butchered that word but hey i'm trying my best just like in the mobile version you can just go through the rainforest and click on various elements visit the forest and once again we can just drag and slide and just look around and we can start videos or we can look at photos okay the next website is aalto university so basically this is just a website to show a virtual tour of the university and i think it's very well executed but what i found annoying is all these pop-ups right off the bat of course we got the cookie pop-up then it says main menu did you know you can find more locations from the main menu then i get all these little um buttons here and i think it's a bit too much in my opinion i know it comes from a good intention but in my opinion that's a bit too much so let me close this and let me just click on one of the items here and let's go and check 
what's going on there so i like it because just imagine you want to go study there once again web design and web development is about communicating effectively through the web medium what they're communicating here is what is it going to look like when you reach university so you can imagine yourself being a student there and i've been through a lot of places here in the university when i was checking this website i don't know if i found my way back but yes i just did this is where you're going to follow your lessons your classes and i mean it looks gorgeous who wouldn't want to study there it actually makes me want to go back and study well not really but if i wanted to go back and study this university looks really really good and that's why i said that to me they achieved the goal of making you want to go study there this is the whole goal of the website okay next is our desktop version and here we got more real estate more canvas to play around so once again let's just go and check some of the locations let me click randomly but hey this is another class and it's like i said it's really good you can really imagine yourself studying there and it's way better than just simple pictures in my opinion so just like the mobile version i think the desktop version is very very well executed oh yeah and one thing i wanted to show you is that when you scroll up and when you scroll down you don't see those nasty end of the world kind of um 360 3d mapping it looks really slick you actually feel like you're in the room you don't see the end and i think it's really well done the thing is nowadays with the technology you can pretty much do that yourself so this is something you could actually offer your clients question of the day how would you rank these websites so if you remember they were labeled a b c d e so just let me know just give me your order whether it's a b c d e b c d a well you get the idea let me know in the comments below come on i'm curious now there is one common thing among all those websites is that they get really good branding so if you're interested in creating a killer branding for yourself or for your clients i created the brand identity guidelines template that you can download on my website for free initially it was made for affinity designer but you can use it with adobe illustrator with a workaround so if you're interested just go to casino.com forward slash branding and follow the instructions on screen now, if you want more videos about web design and inspiration, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. And if you want to level up your web design game, make sure you watch any of the videos appearing on screen right now. I'm trying to build the videos that I wish I had when I got started. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And in the meantime, take care and stay safe.